I've been scouring the runways, searching YouTube and stalking Instagrammers to find out what's on trend for 2024. Hello, welcome, my name's Carol. If you've watched my channel before, then you know that I love fashion, everything about it. Today, we're going to be talking about some jewelry trends for 2024. Not the ones you see on the catwalk. I'm talking wearable here. I'm talking the ones you can wear out on the street. We will talk about some of those trends a bit later, but first we're gonna talk about wearable trends. Trend number one is quiet luxury. It's a style that makes you look like you've got buckets of money to spend, but it excludes anything gaudy or audacious. Some people refer to this trend as the old money style. You want to look like you're wealthy, but you're too wealthy to show it. If you want to dress in the quiet luxury style, you need to choose classic pieces that will stand the test of time. Quiet luxury accessories are just that, quiet. They include minimal pieces of gold, silver or pearl, small pendants on a short chain or even a long chain. Earrings are very minimal as well in gold, silver or pearl. When I was young, I was very classic and I would have fitted perfectly into this trend, but it no longer fits my style or my personality. What do you think of this trend? Is this a trend that you would adopt? Let me know down there. Trend number two is all neutral outfits. You may have noticed over the last few months as the quiet luxury trend has increased, what has happened is there's been a huge influx in all neutral outfits. They're not black like we've seen in past years where all out black outfits have been on trend. This year there's a lot of beige, camel, tan and even white wearing a full white outfit which is quite unusual. The accessories that go along with this all neutral outfit are fairly simple. They are gold or silver and fairly small pieces, quite classic still. Well, that doesn't really work for this colourful gal, and if it doesn't work for you either, that's fine. Embrace the colourful element in your personality. That's why we're going to move on to some more exciting, in my view, trends. <laughs> Trend number three is oversized everything. We're seeing a lot of oversized pieces of jewellery on the runway. Pretty much everything that can be oversized has been. For example, we're going with large pearls, we're going with large chains, we're going with huge statement earrings. Can you imagine wearing this piece out on the street? I feel like I'd fall over. <laughs> Trend number four is modern pearls. Pearls are playing a huge part in accessories in 2024. You can go dainty and delicate if you're veering more towards the quiet luxury or neutral trend, or you could go big and bold and chunky. Personally, I like that big, bold, chunky pearl because it can be worn in a more edgy way. The pearl has popped up in edgy ear cuffs and bib necklaces and rings and also in stunning bracelets, chunky pearl bracelets. If you want an edgy, and I always do, <laughs> why not try wearing several pearl necklaces together? And maybe with a centre focal. I made this pearl choker a few weeks ago and it really fits the trend for 2024. You could make a twisted pearl necklace using the same technique that I used when I made my ombre necklace a few weeks ago. That would be amazing if it was made with different shapes and sizes of pearls. Trend number five is statement earrings or one earring. I find this run really, really interesting. I personally love a good statement earring. I think that it really elevates any outfit and I'm so pleased that they're back. This year, statement earrings can be just made from plain gold we're not seeing as much silver this year, or they can be made from colourful beads. What's really interesting though, is this one earring trend, or wearing asymmetrical earrings, wearing a big statement earring on one side and a small one on the other. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about wearing one earring only? Would you feel lopsided? Or maybe one long one and one short one? It's interesting, isn't it? Trend number six is mixed metals. I'm seeing lots of mixed metals out there, lots of silver and gold bracelets worn together. And also with watches, watches are making a huge comeback. I'm also seeing lots of pieces that are made from gold and silver in one piece, like this necklace. Trend number seven is flowers. I really like this one. This trend makes me so happy. I love flowers and I love flower jewelry. These are not the dainty flowers we've seen in years gone by. These are big, bold statements. They are big floral brooches made from you know uh, fabric flowers they are big statement earrings made from flowers they are amazing 
This is such a fun trend. We're also seeing flowers worn around the neck, like on a choker, maybe a strand of pearls with a flower, like this picture here. Trend number eight is chunky chains and layered chains. I actually really love this trend, even though I haven't quite embraced it yet myself, I will be. Wearing multiple chains all at the same time just seems like fun to me. Note that this one is made from mixed metals. The good news is that all you have to do to embrace this trend is pull out a whole lot of stuff that you already own and wear it together. If you prefer to wear one necklace, check out this amazing one worn by my friend Liz Kleber from Closet Play Image. Liz is a image consultant and if you haven't checked out her channel yet, please do so. It is amazing. She has such great content. I'll leave you a link to Liz's channel in the description box below. Trend number nine is large statement rings. Large rings are making a comeback. Now, personally, I don't wear large rings often because I find they get in the way for everyday wear, but I kind of like mine smaller. But then I'm not really a rings kind of girl. I am wearing a statement piece today. And I do have a few which I will wear when I go out at night or something like that. What do you think about statement rings? How do you feel about them? Do you wear them on a daily basis? Do you like them or do you prefer smaller? Let me know down below. The good news is that you can create this look of a statement ring with several rings. So you don't necessarily just have to wear one big one like I'm wearing today. What you could do is wear several smaller ones like this image here. I think I could get my head around that. Trend number 10 is brooches, and I am so excited that this trend has not disappeared. You all know by now that I love brooches. I've made a couple on my channel and I will leave you links to the tutorials for those in the description box below. What's interesting though is we are seeing a return of the safety pin brooch that was trendy a couple of years ago. So the good news there is if you've got one hiding away in your jewellery box, you can drag it out and put it on. In 2023, the trend was to wear multiple brooches together like I am here. It's not so popular this year, but it is still a trend. And I'm not going to stop wearing it because I really like the multiple brooches together. And it also goes to the overstated, um, oversized trend as well. Trend number 11 is big hoop earrings. Yay! Hoops are back. Did they ever really go out of style? I'm so pleased that large hoop earrings are back. But this year, they come with a little bit of a twist. They can be beaded. They can be made of twisted metal. They could even be made of twisted mixed metal. And of course, they could have pearls on them. Here's a beautiful example of a very different kind of hoop. And you note that she's also wearing an ear cuff, which is also a big trend for 2024. Trend number 12 is cuff bracelets. We did see the beginning of the cuff bracelets trend in 2023, but this year cuff bracelets are everywhere. And they come in all shapes and sizes, all metals, they can be beaded, they're just everywhere. Just wear them. They are often made from plain metal, and they could be gold or silver or even copper, and they could be hammered or they could be smooth. They can also be worn on both arms, which is a really interesting trend. Look at this stunning example. I could so see me getting into this trend. These pearl cuff bracelets hit two trends. Notice that the bracelets are made from pearls and also she's wearing the same matching bracelet on each arm. If you would like to make a cuff bracelet, I will leave you a link in the description box below for this tutorial. What do you think of these 12 trends for 2024? Will you be adopting them or are they way too left field for you? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know also if you would like to see more content like this. And if you would, then please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. If you want to see the tutorials that I have talked about today, I'll leave you links in the description box below. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you with a tutorial next week.